Today's video is an advert from a care company that is recruiting overseas and UK based applicants to come and work in their care home with visa sponsorship. And this particular vacancy will be closing on the 30th of April 2023. Endeavor to watch this video to the end to see how you can make your application because there is no link in the description box. I went to this care home website after viewing this advert online, got their contact on how to reach out to them, called them and they directed me to an email which we can forward our inquiries for job vacancy. Please give this video a massive thumbs up, leave a sweet comment for your girl and subscribe if you are yet to join us. This is the role of a healthcare worker in the UK. You can see where they wrote, relocate to the UK with work visa sponsorship, coming down the specified overseas applicants okay so when they mean overseas applicants if you are already in the uk you are still qualified to make your application we are still coming down to all the inquiries concerning this particular vacancy but then they've stated that kindly note that all fees charges and other costs related to your uk visa application with the home office travel to the uk under uk vi skilled worker sponsorship are to be borne only by you if you are eligible for the post and agree to the aforementioned in the principle we will send you full details related to your visa formalities guys this is what this particular care company stated okay reading further the name of this care home is penthouse care home you can see where they stated welcome to the penthouse care home we operate in the social care that's residential care home sector and are providing of residential nursing care facilities including accommodation for persons who require nursing or personal care so they are specialized in dementia care treatment of disease disorder of injury caring for adults over 65 years so they went ahead to say that we are currently looking to recruit full-time care assistant slash care workers okay so guys this particular care home is for adult care and they're specialized in giving care with people with dementia so you know how to structure your cv okay so reading further they stated the reward so the position is a care assistant or care worker the employer is the panthers care home and guys before i make any video i will go and confirm whether the care home is in the uk government registered license sponsor because i don't want people to be scammed i confirmed this particular care home and they are registered from the uk government website you can see that on the screen and i also went to the care homes website to make sure that what that who they are correspond with what i'm seeing on this advert because remember most times where you get this advert nowadays a lot of people are being scammed so because i don't want my subscribers to be scammed i need to make my thorough research before i come back with any care homes from now henceforth okay so guys please just give this video a massive thumbs up to show your support okay so they are registered under the government website and when i went to their website they are into residential care and they take care of adults from 65 plus years and above and all that i have confirmed that before making this video okay so but then just continue i have to state some points you need to take back home before you make your application so you can see the salary you can see the location this is your working hour okay coming down you look at your duties which we are not going to be reading you okay your duties you read it up later then the skills experience and qualification required minimum of two to three years of experience working in the health and care sector the level three or higher diploma in health and social care or health and social care management equivalent but will be preferred but not necessary okay so guys take notes of these key words so other skills and knowledge required to be thorough and pay attention to details sensitivity and understanding customer service skills and patience and ability to remain calm in stressful situation ability to work well with others excellent verbal communication skills okay 
guys so these skills and all these things try and know how to adjust them you know rephrase them and put them in your cv then we are open to providing training and support to right candidate who has the potential to grow with us on a long-term basis so this these are not for those that will come and you know at the end of the day after a few months you abandon your employer now they went ahead to say that this vacancy is open to worldwide as well as uk candidates okay so if you are already in uk be it graduate visa student visa dependent this vacancy is open for you then worldwide for overseas applicants like they stated initially now important note so if you're a uk applicant you must have the right to work in the uk so you're going to provide your passport copy or other eligible evidence such as your brp to show that you are eligible or you have the right to work in uk okay okay to be sent by email or post before calling you for an for on-site interview but if you cannot or will not provide in advance your application will be rejected and you must produce evidence in original form at the time of interview so if you're a uk-based applicant and you want to go for this particular position you will you will come with your passport or your brp the original copy okay on the day of your interview so the closing date for this particular opportunity is on 30th of april 2023 and job type is full time so look at the salary company pension and other things so deadline is 30th of april so you still have some time to adjust your cv okay guys you go and screenshot go and screenshot all the skills they listed they are into adult care dementia care injury care make sure that you formulate your personal statement and your your experiences to fit in with who they are looking for okay so this is the care home this is the address the postcode their telephone number guys i confirmed this telephone number from their official website okay i will still show you how you would go to the official website because that's from there you, you are going to forward your application with this particular care home so guys we are quickly going to show you how you will make your application so i went to google and typed the penthouse care home the penthouse care home if you type it look at you see so many popping but you look at the ones that has carehome.co.uk and this is how the official website looks like okay care home the penthouse care home so this penthouse care home is featured by spc care homes i will still come back to you know expand on that so once we come here you click on call once you click on call you see please select the type of inquiry to view for the relevant phone number and we are making inquiries for job vacancy so i'll click on job vacancy inquiries and immediately it will pop out the telephone number for penthouse care home okay and guys this care home is the same thing with the, the telephone number um from the job advert i got okay so guys i went ahead to call them and they directed me to the email where i can forward my inquiries for job vacancy okay which i will be displaying on the screen so for all job vacancy you forward application or your inquiries to penthouse at spccarehomes.co.uk penthouse at spccarehomes.co.uk of course this particular um, email address is a working email address because i went ahead to forward application to them but then i'm yet to get a response but because the advert will be closing on the 30th of april so i decided to come and make this video so that you all will go and forward your application either you forward a message in form of um making an inquiry as an overseas applicant or you go ahead and forward your application that's make your application use your cover letter at the body of the email and you attach your cv that your cover letter should be able to you know 
tell everything about you everything they need to know everything that once the um the hiring manager sees it will spike the manager to you know click on your cv to read further about who you are remember to tell her everything you are writing in your cover letter and cv to suit the job description or that i've listed and the skills they they are looking for in you okay so guys this is how you're going to make your application but then see while on this website if you click on website if we click on website it will open up to this spc care homes like i said spc care home is the official recruiters so spc care home they have three care homes which penthouse care home is one of them i want you to see the relationship between penthouse care home and spc care homes guys i went to make a deep research before i made this video okay so coming down you can see they are into residential care home and all that okay so guys spc care home you know you can read further and say welcome to spc care home where each home is tailored to meet with the specific health care needs so they have the cedar care home the penthouse care home and springfield manor nursing care home but remember the one i saw on the advert is the penthouse care home okay and like we, we also they are registered to give um, sponsorship from the uk government website like i mentioned the email to forward your application is penthouse at spccarehomes.co.uk okay you can as well forward your application or also make your inquiries from this particular email once you click on email us it will open up so this one is admin at spccarehomes.co.uk admin at spccarehomes.co.uk so you can as well forward your application in the both with the both email address okay so guys that's it for this particular care home that is just it for this particular care home i wish you all good luck in your application remember what they stated you'll be the one to, to bear the cost of all your expenses for your visa okay so once you call them and forward them of course they are verified then they will send you you know the details of what you need to know so if you are okay with their offer you continue with them if you are not okay you move over to the next vacancy remember to subscribe to my channel if you are watching my video for the first time because i'm always searching for opportunities like this that will enable overseas applicants to come to the uk via the health and care worker visa route okay so guys we have come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching i wish you good luck in your application and see you in my next video bye bye